Hey everyone, we are back with the Monday sales and it is not good guys. Today is one of those days you don't want to have on eBay. Uh, it was like two or three o'clock before we had our first sale. We have a couple things we're waiting payment on, but only four sales came through and for our size store, that's pretty low on average. But again, things are just kind of crazy right now. Uh, not, nothing you can really predict. So we'll go over the couple things. Maybe there'll be something cool. There's one item that I'm glad we sold one. We haven't sold one in a while. And then just kind of some bread and butter stuff. So let's get into it. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. I don't know if she saw the total, but we're going to estimate. Yeah. Four sales for just under 145 yeah, So somewhere around there. Not the greatest, guys. Um, like I said, we have a couple things waiting payment that may have got us to that 200 mark, but we'd like to have it a little better than that. But let's get into it. First item. So old faithful. Some rich. We got a lot of five Rit laundry treatment stuff. Um, and that five pack sold for $25 ship. One of our better buys of multi quantity. We still have some left, but we are definitely getting towards the end here. So next up. Next up, we got a PS2. Comes with um, controller and all the wires. It's missing the uh, front of this. It still works beautifully, but it's missing the front. And we put that read description in caps because... People don't do because that. of that cosmetically it is an issue uh, it does like i said open up and works fine plays games threw a controller with it and listed a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones and it sold for 70 dollars shipped usually you can get about 80 to 100 bucks on that if it's in better shape so it was okay listing a little cheaper and a game not going yeah. with it but for the same system fantastic four for ps2 complete sold for eight and a half shipped used to be 36 bucks how the you know inflation right no Anyways, next item. And our last item for the night is a Nikon Coolpix L320 digital camera. Don't. Sold for just under $41 shipped. I think this was five bucks. So pretty good. I think it uses regular batteries too. So I'm not... Ooh, yay. Use regular batteries, but it does work, tested, and it sold itself for what? 40? Just under 41. Should go first class too. It's not too heavy. So that's all we got. We won't have to keep you guys too long. We'll see you here tomorrow. We're going to be here no matter what. Even if sales are slow, we'll still be here to show you guys what we did. Okay? Hopefully we'll we get better tomorrow, though. We'll see you in a second. Hey, guys. We're back with the sales from Tuesday. This is Linda in her librarian variant. <laughs> if you're familiar with Marvel. Anyways, um, today's another day on eBay. It's better than yesterday, but it's not much better. So we're going to go over what's sold. At least we had a couple things come through here at the end. We did have to track some down. But we found them all. Let's go ahead and get into it. How are the numbers? So we had nine sales for just under 245. So goal is 300. We had 130 yesterday. So we're sitting at 370 something. We should be at about 600. Yeah, we have um, an hour left. So. so we'll see if anything happens. You know, sales have been slow. Whenever you're watching this, you know, it's about a month behind. So you probably, people have had some slow sales to this time of year from what I've heard from other people, but this is sold a few things. Let's get them packed up and out of here. So first item. First up we have a men's Beretta firearms polo and that one sold for $20. Shit. That was a buck. Uh, apparently Beretta stuff sells because that one sold for a buck. Well, it didn't sell for a buck. I mean, it sold for 20 paid bucks. for a buck, worth a buck. Then we've got <laughs> NFL Blitz 2002. Uh, it's the game only. Literally, that's it. But it's got a case we don't have to provide. Hollywood video case. And that sold for just over seven and a half ships. That's not going to pay the bills, guys. No, that's not. <laughs> um, then we have a scam band. And we have like two left, I think. Two or three. We're really getting close. To, such a good buy. I'm glad I bought all these. Actually, we also sold something else today from that same buy. But this was a dollar and it sold for? $12 shipped. Got a couple more left, she said. Then we got a set of vintage Tupperware. It's got it's like a deli keeper, so it has it holds meat. And these are eggs. This is a marinade egg, one. They're all just the same kind of color, so I kind of lot of them together, I guess. And they look a little off like that, but anyways, we lot them together. They were I think a couple bucks for all of them. And they sold for forty dollars for the set. That's a good deal though, forty bucks on those. Then we have an awesome one. Uh, this is a bolo. This is a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for Game Boy Advance. Um, it is literally the game only. No case, no manual. And it still sold for $40 ship. That was an offer to watchers. I spent five. The lady said, oh, oh it's five bucks. And then when I went to pay, her daughter was like, oh, no, my brother wanted to sell that for 15 And she goes, too late. I already sold it for 5 And I was like, are you sure? She goes, yeah, I told you that. You know, that was the deal. And I'm like, okay. So I bought it. Her problem now. 
Next then, item. Next up, we got a cassette. This is John Scofield, Pick Hits Live, sold for $15 ship and going global shipping. Program. I'm not even sure who that is. And I don't recognize the songs, but anyways. He doesn't know you either. 15 bucks. Then we have Trivia Adventure Plus, uh, sealed from 1984. It's a little rough. <laughs> uh, the 2,000 questions in there, and that sold for $20 ship. I think that came from a storage unit guy by, which we haven't been to him in a while, but 20 bucks on that won't make a lot, but at least it's out of here. Then we have a Breadman bread machine with the paddle. This one's not in the best shape, but it's a good unit to sell. And it sold for $27 shipped. 27 bucks on its way. Then our last sale is a pair of Levi's. These are Levi 511s. These are the Aldo Rose. Yeah, Rose or something like that. Tea red or That's palm print. And it's cool because it does. there is a palm print yeah, on it. you can kind of see it. And those sold for $45 shipped. I got those the same days I got the scan bands. So I got 17 of the bands for a buck a piece. And then she had the jeans. She had four pairs at 15 bucks each. I said I'll buy them all at ten dollars each. They're all brand new, different sizes, same exact style though. You've already sold two for forty-five. Now we spent forty for all of them. So once the other two sell around forty or forty-five, we'll have made pretty good money. Plus the bands were good, and we got those from there. I got some other stuff they only remember though. But anyways, that's all we got right now. We appreciate you guys watching. Little we'll be back if anything else sells. Hey guys, we're here with what sold uh, online today. Today is Wednesday for us. Online. Don't make fun of me in front of my friends. They'll protect me. Anyways, they'll defend me, I should say. <laughs> uh, we sold some stuff today. Two different platforms. A lot of stuff on eBay. If you watch our last video, sales were kind of sputtering along there. Not the greatest. But today came back with a nice big chunk of sales here. A good dollar amount. And we're happy with it. What did you say? Came back with a vengeance. All right. This is one of my favorite shirts. It looks really cool, I think. I don't know if Linda likes it, but I just like the look of it. Anyways, how do we do? <laughs> so today we had, um, what did we have? So today we had 16 sales for, uh, 5.35. Awesome. That, that that's good. both platforms added both together? Platforms. Okay. So that's pretty good for us considering we had less than that combined the past two days on all the platforms we sold on. So that's how it goes sometimes, but I'm happy things came through. A couple things sold overnight too. First item though is a Posh sale, something that's been on eBay for years, sold on Posh today. This is a pair of Aldo um, flats. They're a women's dress shoe. Um, this one was 60 bucks. And we sold them for 25. 25 plus ship. So plus ship. No, we had them listed like 40 or something. She offered 25 and had them long enough. We're in them for like two or three bucks. Happy to see them go. Now we'll get to eBay. First up, we have um, Cameron bought a bunch of uh, fairy statuettes and dragons, and dragons, witches and, and stuff. yeah, super cutesy stuff like all that mystical kind of thing. Yeah, it wasn't like horror. It was like no, very pretty, beautiful little items. Maybe so. see that. I'm not gonna take it out of the box because you know, break it and all. We'll wait till it's packed and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> and what one was this? This is the uh, Sapphire Dragon mm -hmm. um, by Fairy Sight. Uh, and this one sold for $92 a ship. We sold, I think, two or three of these in this particular one. We only had of this style, and they all sold very well. One sold for over 100 A lot of them were limited edition, so they were numbered. This one is 1,052 out of 4,800. So these ones sold well. Some of the other fairy statues sold for like 60, 50, 40 to 100. We still have two or three left, I think, on the shelf over there. So yeah. we did really well on the deal, but it's taken a while, obviously, to sell them all. So happy to see that one go. It's been up for a couple of years now, but we sold a lot of them right off the bat. Yeah. Well, at the price they are, it's it's something that it's you're looking for the right buyer. Yeah. Who wants to display this? So <laughs> and with our business model, guys, we can hold on to things. We have this garage, even though it is pretty full. We need to get it reorganized, and we're talking about a possible shed in the back to add some space. Our business model is not we need to sell everything within 60 days or 90 days or whatever. The goal is sell as much as we can, but we'll, you know, hold on to it till it sells. Something like this, we're getting 90 bucks on this two years later, two and a half years later, whatever it is, it was worth it. And we sold a bunch of it right off the bat. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to sell everything right away unless you really need space and that's how your model works. But there's a bunch of different ways to run a reselling business. Next item. Next item. We sold we, on the yep. And Abbott and Costello, who's on first baseball. And that one sold for twenty dollars ship. Another one sold for seventeen and offered a watcher, so this person paid a little more, even better. Sad. And then next up, Cameron got a bunch of um, patches. patches, so embroidery patches. We have ones and threes. And this was a box shoe box full, basically for five bucks. 
there are a bunch of sports ones and old vintage patches that came off of like um, people's like shirts or hats or whatever. This person had a whole bunch for five bucks. Nothing really super rare in there, but I wasn't even sure about listing these. They're just kind of generic. But there's a bunch of ones in here, red, blue, and blue and yellow, I think. And was that silver? Yeah, silver. And then there's only these silver threes or gray threes, whatever they are. And I'm like, I don't know if anybody wants these, but I'm like, I'll put them up for 25. Maybe someone will jump on them and they sold Somebody overnight. <laughs> 25 bucks, guys, for these. They probably will still go first class, too. Yeah. So I paid five for the whole box. This is the first set to sell. We're already in the profit. And I I'll mean, if I'm somebody who does that for a living, the embroider stuff on there, oh, yeah, I'd buy yeah, bulk because you, you're going to use them. You can use them for stuff. But, I mean, and I, there's a ton in here. Not a ton. But, I mean, you can see there's a good amount in here and a good amount in here. So they're getting a lot of patches. Uh, I'm sure these cost a couple bucks individually online if you buy them. But yeah, I, I was just trying to lob them together and get them out of here. Even found a couple more that we'll throw in. So they got lucky. Next. Next up, we have an original Roku replacement remote, and that one sold for $17. This is on the, one of the newer Rokus, I believe. This The original early, early Roku remote does not sell well. This one sold for $16. Yeah. It was a dollar. And then we have this Hawaiian shirt. This is an Aloha Republic Hawaiian shirt. It's nice blue. Print, yeah, it's, it looks like a basic Hawaiian shirt like you see on cartoons. Well, it's got that nice color with yeah. the white there at 3X, brand new with tag. I've never heard of the brand before, but it is made in Hawaii. And it sold for 31 and a half shipped, and it is actually going global shipping program. It was yeah. only a dollar at a rummage sale. All their clothes were a buck, and that's like one of the few that I grabbed. Then we've got the Essential Clash on DVD. And that one sold for nine and a half shipped. This was returned. We sold it for seven forty nine. It had been up for a while on sale, and someone got it, and so they didn't order it, so they returned it, and then it sold for nine bucks to somebody else. So, I don't know. People are weird. Next up, we have Kane and Lynch Dead Men on Xbox three hundred and sixty. Just the game and the case sold for ten dollars shipped. Then we've got this is this um, is I love this is one of the things that when we sell empty cases. Or just a manual. This is just the manual. This is the manual for Silent Hill 4, The Room on Xbox. Um, and that manual alone sold for $19. 19 shit. bucks, guys. That's why if you see empty cases to a valuable game in a garage, you're like, oh, we don't have a game. If you can get the cases for free with manuals, it might be worth it. Some of them are worth getting and you can make some money. 19 bucks, guys, on one manual. We've sold cases for 20, 30 bucks, 40 bucks for an empty case on a rare game yeah. where they didn't have the game. So it's something to keep an eye out. Not everybody's going to probably think there's value there, but there could be. Next up, we have a. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Because it does this. She's looking at the picture, but if you do this. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. So, this is the right one. This is a Bose Sound Dock portable system. Um, it is sold as is, no power cord. You probably can't see it, but there's the aux right there. And it looks like somebody jacked it up by shoving something in there. Um, we sold a Bose unit, this exact unit, with the bag and everything for 100 bucks. I did not test out the aux. I tested out the iPod port. And it worked beautifully. The speaker it sounds great. Shipped it out. The person said, well, it does work great, but we're looking for the aux port and it's damaged. And I'm like, I'm sorry I didn't see it. They returned it. I had another Bose unit, the same one, but did not have a damaged aux port and work. So I put that with the whole setup and we sold this one as is. For just over 33 ships. And I paid five bucks for, or 10 bucks for both of them. So we'll make some money on this one, make that money we lost on the return shipping back. And then um, we should sell the whole unit again for 80 to 100. Then a $700 manual buy. We have a 2000 to 2005 Honda Insight manual sold for 67 and a half shipped. Hey, and that one is sealed. Found another number one we can have. Then a the $100 Jazz buy. We have Blues People on paperback. And that one sold for $15 shipped. Another little book coming out of that buy. It's paying off. And we got another remote. This is a Panasonic Black Viera TV remote, and that one sold for $12 shipped. Yeah, and we sold a 19 or $16 remote, $12 remote. I've said this multiple times in video guys, or in the videos. If you're new to reselling or if you're out there garage selling, look for remotes. Get them cheap. Easy to test. Model numbers are usually on the bottom or on the inside where the batteries go or on the back of the battery cover. Really easy to ship. Just a nice low cost of entry item to sell on eBay. Doesn't take a lot of space. I would encourage you to take the time to do it. You're not going to get home runs usually unless you get like a really crazy Bose one or a remote for a bed or something. But just kind of easy bread and butter to help supplement your store. And then we've got a pair of vintage bolt cutters. These are by HK Porter. And the handles are actually really cool because the end of the letter has, or the end of it has the letters. Yeah, HKP. 
in there, which is really oh, cool. Because that science. takes a lot of work to put those in there. So well, this is old for really sure, cool. but it's rusted. It's not in the best shape. Yeah, you this can't. Is you probably can't undo these at all. <laughs> this is like a good display piece, though. You know, yeah, like if you like a real rustic thing. It was three bucks. Um, and it's, then it sold for thirty dollars, and it sold overnight. So I, I was looking at comps, and that's what they were going for roughly. And and mine was in worse shape than some of the other ones, but I, I have a feeling I should have listed a little higher because it sold really quickly. And something like this, you wouldn't expect to sell yeah. super fast. Um, it's a little heavy, but it'll probably go out FedEx. It'll probably cost ten or twelve bucks, and we'll still make ten up ten plus on it. So not too bad. And while we were sitting after I finished a list or uh, pulling the orders, I'm waiting for Cameron. He's doing some pictures. We had two more sales. This is one of them. This is a Zip Spin CD and DVD duplicator, and it is tested and works. And it sold for seventy-five dollars shipped. This is a, so if you have a CD and you wanted to copy said CD, potentially you could do it on here or DVD. So it does work. Then our last item is this cute little wishbone. This is a Jack Russell Terrier from 1996, uh, the PBS TV show, and that one sold for $25 shipped. And the thing was is um, we sold the uh, backpack. backpack for like 60 bucks of wishbone. The this one that one, I found. This one's not as in not as desirable, but still sold. I think I'm in it for a buck or something. So I actually pulled the tag off of him and washed him up really nice, so he smells yummy. Yeah, his collar was a little, a little his, yeah. That leather he's is... not perfect, but someone who wants some vintage wishbone, who's probably saw the show, whatever they'll like this. Yeah. So that's all we have. Uh, we'll see if anything else comes through today. But we're happy to see those things go and have a good sales day. And we'll see you guys in a second with what sells on Thursday. Hey guys, we're here with the sales for Thursday. And yesterday was an awesome day for us. Wednesday, Monday, and Tuesday were slow. Today is not so great. Yes, I'm wearing my own shirt. My sister actually got this for me. She had it made for me, so I'm wearing it today. So I don't think I'm that great or anything on YouTube, but it was a nice shirt to wear and I appreciate the gift. How did we do today? So today we had six sales across Whoa, so three low. platforms. That part's cool. Four, uh, just under 245. So yeah, we'd like to be at least at 300. We got a little bit of time left, though, a couple hours. So okay. we'll see if anything comes through, maybe a live sale. We'll start off with what? Posh? The cheapest one, yeah. So Posh. We have an Abbott and Costello jersey Our right there. One. Last one. And that sold for $25 plus shipping. Those were two bucks a piece. So we've sold all of them for anywhere from 24 to 30 bucks. Very good, very profitable. Next is Mercari. Yeah, so we have these listed on a few different things. We tried our best. So the tops of these Nike Supremes um, has like, I don't know if it's like marker. It looks almost or like what. a Sharpie or something. It's gotta be Sharpie because we couldn't get it off. If it, it was like washable marker, I could have got it off. The so thing easy, is we tried all these different we tried tips everything. and techniques that everyone said nothing and it's kind of faded but it will not come off magic eraser doesn't do anything for it and we didn't Alcohol. want to do too much because you yeah don't i don't want to ruin the shoe, the shoe but if there's like the, a on the front of this toe is what it looked like first so no. i got them for 10 bucks because these are value pretty valuable shoes they seem to be authentic everything checks out um paid 10 bucks for them because they were damaged took a chance took a best offer on mercari for 64 dollars plus shipping and the guy said that he was aware of the damage and he didn't care. He still wanted them. So I, I messaged him and said, hey, just so you know, we tried, there's their there marker on them. We tried to get it off. We were not able to. He goes, that's okay. I still want them. So I don't know. Happy to see him go. Wasn't sure on those ones, but it worked out. Now we'll get to eBay. Another pair of shoes. First up is this pair of men's Subo hiking shoes. They're size 13 and they sold for $45. Kind of shipped. weird looking shoes. They are. They have this weird toe on them and then. They're like. like the obviously, it's all about grip because it's got like this cascading. And it's like got this rubber around it, probably right like maybe for like water or whatever. I don't know because it's like it's all really like cool rubber though. around here. But these were five bucks and they sold for 45 in a couple days. So good sale. This Next was listed step, overnight. Overnight, we have a Texas Instruments, a TI-84 Plus, a Sea Silver Edition, and that one sold for $65. We did include the charging cable with that, $65. Bucks. That came out of a $100 buy, so there's other stuff included, but that was already making a lot of our money back. And Here's then, an old listing from Apartment Numero Dos. <laughs> This is a France 98 Coupe du Monde Football World Cup jacket yeah. uh, pullover, and that sold for twenty eight dollars. Probably spent shipped. five. It actually had sold a couple like a week or half ago, and the guy never paid it twenty five bucks. And then today I was like, you know what? I'm not waiting anymore. He kept telling me he's gonna pay, but I'm like, it's been long enough. Canceled it. 
relisted it and then it sold today the same day for 28 bucks on the best offer so i was like okay more three more bucks the guy already paid so happy to see it go and our last one this uh was overnight too wasn't it yep this is a premier gentle leader uh training collar mm. with the dvd and that sold for 14 dollars and this was from savers this past weekend so coming up i bought a little bag of stuff for three bucks this was in there and another little 10 or 12 dollar item so not a whole bunch of profit but easy sale sold right away and that's all we have uh, linda will be back if anything else sells or maybe me and we'll both see you in the next video with what sells this weekend so take care